Hi guys, welcome back to another informative video where we discuss things about saving, investing, stock market, and a lot of practical tips that you can use to improve your way of living. I am not really drawn to material things, but there are material things that I really like to buy. <laughs> Kumbaga, syempre, may mga times rin naman na gusto mo siya. But today, I'll discuss the material things worth investing in. So, if you are also a practical millennial like me, I'm pretty sure you don't just buy because you like it. Kapag practical kang tao at talagang matipid ka, pinag-iisipan mo muna ng maraming beses kung bibilhin mo. But these material things that I'll share with you, ito yung mga bagay na madalas hindi ko na pinag-iisipan at binibili ko na lang. So, I'll share them today. Number one would definitely be alahas. Siyempre, lahat ng jewelry. Sobrang hilig ko sa alahas. Sobrang gustong-gusto ko sila. At every time na may extra akong pera at bagsak yung bentahan ng gold, I always buy sa subasta items or live selling. Kasi hilig ko talaga sila. Recently, nadodraw yung attention ko sa mga diamonds. Pero hindi pa kasi ako masyadong maalam sa diamonds. But I'm planning to buy um, one for myself. Tapos isa sa nanay ko. Tapos, um, kung bibili ka ng alahas, make sure that it's 18K. Because if it, if the carrot is 18 below, mahirap siyang ibenta or not all pawn shops are accepting it. So, if you would like to also start a collection of jewelry pieces, mga 18K, 18K Italy gold, uh, mga Saudi gold, Japan gold. Yung Japan medyo mahal. Um, HK, iba-iba yan. Basta as long as it's um, 18K, Ngayon ang nagre-range siya is two, ang range ng presyo niya is 2950 per gram. So, ito yung mga bagay na masusuot mo and kapag dumating yung panahon na kailangan mong ibenta or kailangan mo na mabilis na pera, pwede mong isanla. So, again, if you want to get investment pieces, maganda yung 18k. Yon. <laughs> Gustong gusto ko ng ala, sobrang ewan ko yan ata yung pinaka-favorite ko kaya First ko siyang minetron kasi talagang gustong gusto ko siya. At kahit na 13 month pay mo, try to buy um, um, a pair of earrings kasi masasot mo naman siya. O kaya a necklace para if there are occasions, you can wear them. Ako, I always wear my accessories. Every time I purchase something, sinasot ko sila. Ayoko yung di ko sila susuotin. Kasi um, through time naman, mabibenta mo pa rin sila kasi nag increase ang value ng gold. Napakagandang investment yan. Lalo din dito sa Pilipinas, ang pinakapatok ay Saudi gold. Yan, basta 18K. Next, devices as work tools. Actually, ngayon ko lang ito nare-realize. Before kasi, lagi kong uh, pinipilit lang yung sarili ko na kung ano na lang yun nandyan or kung ano lang kaya ng budget ko, yun na lang yung gagamitin ko. But I realized that now that we have a work-from-home setup, and now that everyone's shifting to digital, it pays to have a, a good device that you can use. Now, um, kakasira lang kasi ng MacBook ko eh. But that's second-hand. Nakuha ko lang yun. Nabili ko lang yun sa katrabaho ko before from three years ago. Sobrang ROI ko na yung MacBook na yun. Ang dami ko na rin na close na clients because of that MacBook. So, I'm deciding to get myself one. Ito yung mga bagay na dapat mo rin pag-isipan. But, um, if um, gagamitin mo naman sa work or sa business mo, then buy quality products na kasi magtatagal naman. Naingit rin ako sa brother ko kasi nakabili na siya ng sarili niya. Yun yung una niyang investment na ginawa kasi sa work niya as an engineer. Importante talaga may maganda kang laptop. So, ako ngayon yun ngayon yung pinag-iipunan ko kasi it's a big purchase then for me. So, don't ever feel na hindi okay bumili ng devices for work. As long as you you'll use it for your sideline or part-time job, lalo na ngayon na work from home, mas makakahassle ka ng todo kapag may device ka or meron kang equipment na magagamit for your um, job or kung anong sideline man yung gusto mo. Next would be bags with resale value. Eto ha, recent lang to kasi dati, I love reselling bags pero through pre-orders kasi I have an online shop. Now na nag drop shipping um, business ako and I wanna establish my program online, I realized na ang dami palang market or maganda pala ang market ng mga bags. So, for the longest time, naghahanap ako ng ways ng ano ibibenta ko. So, I always like to declutter ng mga damit ko pero hindi talaga siya patok until I tried thrice Nag-attempt akong ibenta yung gamit ko tsaka yung sa mother ko. Nabenta agad. So, that's the realization na may berong meron talagang market ang bags. Maraming babaeng gusto ng bag. Tapos kahit madami gusto nila. 
So that's when I started doing it. And you know what? The resale value keeps on going up. Totoo talaga. Um, most of the branded or luxury pieces, wala na kasi sa akin. Parang I kept some, pero kasi nangihinayang rin ako na hindi siya agad ibenta. Kasi hindi naman ako maluhong tao. Ay, or simple lang akong tao. So whenever I go out, I always use yung mga items na swak then for my age. I'm only 25 and I feel like it's not yet in my character to go out and bring a Balenciaga or Prada or ano ba? Or Louis Vuitton na bag. Parang ako okay na ako sa mga wallets because it will last me a long time. Or yung mga card cases, notebooks because I love those things. But I won't force myself to buy those things just because just because I want to show off. Um, with my age, I feel like I don't carry mga ganon. So I feel like maybe in my 30s. So most of the bags that I got um, abroad, I resell them, and I swear, napakaganda na resell value niya. So I've kept some here with me. Yung gusto ko lang talaga. Pero lahat halos nilalet go ko. Ang dami kong nabenta and yung resell value nila. Sabi sa akin, mga bumibili sa akin, they were able to sell it higher pa. So sabi ko, wow! So if you want to invest on material pieces, um, try to search for brands that has good um, resell value, lalo na kung bag yung bibilin mo. Uh, marami, marami dyan. And since it's quality talaga, makikita, makikita mo na kapag nirestore mo siya, maganda pa rin talaga yung quality ng bag. So, ako, I really like vintage pieces to be exact. Wala naman akong brands na masyadong tinitignan, but sobrang ganda ng resell value, okay yan. Next would be watches. Sobrang hilig ko sa watch. Ewan ko, parang... Yan ata yung gusto ko talaga, aside from notebooks na mga luxury na notebooks, ganyan. Ito talaga yung, ay sorry, journals pala. Ito ngayon yung parang kinahiligan ko watches. Kasi you can pass it on to the, to your anak, or sa mga, in, sa magiging daughter-in-law mo, ganyan. I love watches. Sobrang dami ko ding watch. And basta papakita ko sila on my next video, yung mga bags and wallets ko, kung gusto nyo yung mapanood, ewan ko, may gusto ba, or interesado doon. Pero, ang gaganda kasi ng mga watch, ewan ko ha, for me, it's also a statement piece, and I have a small wrist, maliit lang yung wrist ko, so, hindi sa akin bagay yung mga malalaki ng mga Michael Kors levels, ganyan. Pero, I am still building my watch collection. Siyempre, hindi naman yung sobrang mga mamahal. Something that I can use, and kung okay naman yung brand and design, I'll get them for myself. Yun yung mga hirap ako ngayon ilet go. Next would be books. Okay. ba diba ang dami ng ano, mga online, PDFs, mga Kindle, ganyan, yung mga basa-basa na ano. It, it, there's still a difference when you have a real book with you rather than reading it online. I have my iPad. We have our Kindle at home. But I don't use it for reading books. I feel like iPads and Kindles are more of an interactive way for you to browse online. Pero kapag as a replacement sa book, hindi talaga. As you can see, I have lots of books here. Sobrang siksik yan. Mayroon layer dito, mayroon layer dito. Tapos sa paligid pa namin dito, ang dami pang books. Because I really, really love reading books. Grabe, nung ano, nung um, pag, pag mga holiday, sa isang upuan, siguro kaya kong isa or tatlo. Pero grabe, sakit-sakit na ng likod ko nun kasi talaga nakatutok ako. And sobrang emotional ako when I read, nadadala talaga ako. But now that... Um, I'm reading more of business books. Mas hindi naman ako emotional. But before, oh my God, talagang krayola, krayola. Iyak-iyak ako dyan kasi talaga nadadala ako ng emotion ko. But now, I'm reading more business books talaga. It's not boring, especially if it's something that you like. Yon. Tapos, yung books din kasi, ever since bata ko, siguro grade 6 pa lang, hilig ko na magbasa ng libro. Grabe. Kahit di ako lumabas ng bahay. Sabi ko nga eh, Pag siguro tumanda ako, hindi ako mabuboard. Sometimes, I I look at old people and minsan meron kang tanong sa sarili mo na ano yung ginagawa nila. No? Sometimes, I also wonder. Kasi, lola ko kasama namin and feeling ko bored na bored siya sa buhay niya. Pero ako, di, feel ko di ako mabuboard as long as I have books at bibili ako ng libro, ganyan, babasahin ko, di ako mabuboard. Kakabasa. yon So... Lastly, would be musical instruments. I love playing piano. Meron ako dito. And then, guitar. Kakabil ko na yung gitara ko nung Christmas. Last Christmas. Kasi sobrang luma na nung gitara ko. So, bumila ko ng bago. You know what? I read this somewhere, ha? Sabi nila, you have to build hobbies or maybe try to... Yun nga. 
pwedeng read books kung mahilig ka or try to learn how to play an instrument. You know why? As you get older, those are the things that will keep you sane. Kasi nakakabaliw yung adulting, yung pagtatrabaho and all with stress, with pressure, expectations, at ganito pang mga ina-anxiety ka. I realized that tama yung sinabi nung nabasa ko. I read it somewhere that these hobbies that we have when we were young, it will help us to move forward with life. It will add spice to our life. It's true. Especially now that there's a pandemic. Every time I get stressed or sometimes if I just wanna relax, I'll grab a book or sometimes I'll play an instrument and parang nariili siya. So if you're watching this, there are a lot of tutorials. I, ako ah, self-taught lang ako lahat. YouTube, YouTube lang ako nung bata ako. Tapos, um, inaaral ko siya on my own kasi that's how I cope up with learning eh. Gusto ko very personal siya. So, try to have a habit whether it's photography, pwedeng making videos, o kaya drawing. Iba-iba tayo ng panlasa or taste. But those things, those hobbies, um, wag kang matakot or manghinayang na pagkagasusan sila. Siguro yung mga canvas, yung mga oil painting, etc. Mga color pencils na ginagamit ng mga artist or a good camera. Don't ever regret buying those things. Because if it's a hobby that you really, really like, at yun yung gusto mong i-flourish, that will help you get through life, I swear. Lalo na kapag, syempre pag matanda ka na, Sometimes you are just too boxed with the situation. Ang hirap ko kumawala kasi madami ding mawawala sa'yo. Because as you get old, you have higher responsibilities. At kapag ganun, there's a tendency na kainin ka nun. So try to build a hobby for yourself para hindi maging ganun ka-stressful yung life. And when you look back, you would realize na, wow, tama yung decision ko na inaral ko siya or nagkaroon ako ng gantong hobby because... It's helping you now to cope up with everything that's happening. Ako ganon siya ngayon, ganon siya ng yari sa akin, and I'm really grateful that very ano ako na mahirig ako mag-explore ng bata ko, and now I really don't find myself bored dito sa situation. I really find it productive. But of course, there are ano breakdown moments. Pero magbe-breakdown ka mga ten minutes pero laban ulit, as magbe-breakdown ka na naman laban ulit. So, yun. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll try to upload more. I'll try siguro to upload twice a day. Kung kakayanin. Pero okay na ako sa daily upload. Thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!